up my bibs. Did you spill while you're eating? 1492 is when Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Ooh, I'm gonna need this. It's a dude wipe. <laughs> Actually, that was for me, thank you. Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back. Today is a really big day. It's not nearly as big of a day as tomorrow's gonna be, but today is the, like the pre-game, pre-game today. Tomorrow I have my race. I'm doing a half marathon down at Big Cottonwood Canyon. This is a race done by Revel. What I've decided, I've only done a couple of races. I've just decided they do the best races. One of the biggest sponsors is Albion and that's how I got involved in the whole thing was because of Albion. Dang Albion. I had wanted to do this race forever ago and maybe I can tell the history of like this whole thing coming to be because it's been a long time coming that I finally did it last year and this year they asked me to do it again part of their Albion track team so little did they know they were asking a super slow person to join their team but either way it's gonna be fun we're gonna make the most of it and we're gonna have a great time day before a race if you've ever done one you already know this but if not there is an expo and you go to the expo you pick up your packet it has everything that you need it has your bib for the race it also has a drop bag which is what I will definitely be using tomorrow morning because it's gonna be really cold you'll wear your sweatshirt or jacket or whatever and right before the race starts you have a big giant truck. You can put your sweatshirt, jacket, whatever it is in your drop bag and it goes in the truck and they take it down the canyon for you. Organize it, show up and grab your bag and it's awesome. You'll get all the information there. I'm of course going to visit the Albion booth and take some fun pictures and stuff. Should be a lot of fun. I originally planned to do this race alone and then one of my sweet friends from the gym said, oh my gosh, I signed up to do this with you. I was so excited because it's way more fun to do a race, to train with someone, to do your long runs with someone. And then just last week, I had two other friends from the gym that have decided to join us. So we're going to be a group of four girls today going to the expo but also going to the race. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm really excited. You know we kind of touched on lightly in yesterday's video that I was coming down with a cold. I don't know. We don't need to spend a ton of time on it today but I'm definitely sick with a cold. It'll be fine. We'll just take some medication tomorrow morning to make myself feel as best as I can. One of you did tell me not to take Sudafid while running because it increases your heart rate. We don't want that happening. I think I'll be fine. I will be just fine. I probably won't sleep great. Guess what? It's two hours. Two hours of my life. I can do anything for two hours. I've been training for four months for this so I can do two hours. Six or not, it's two hours. It's gonna be great. But I'm gonna head out here in just a little bit. Go pick up my packet and everything. We've talked about it a ton this week. I feel like everybody's sick. Everyone I talk to, they have someone sick in their family. For now, I'm gonna head off and go pick up our packets. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. That's perfect. Rebel enough, rebel, rebel. Mom, you're a rebel who's running the rebel. Yes, I am, you guys. I we quit into... snipping. Sorry. Let's get a quick update. How are you feeling physically, mentally, and emotionally as you prepare for this race? Physically, 50%. What? That's terrible. <laughs> no, I feel fine. 85. I mean, I'm getting a cold. I have a cold. And it's like not a big deal. Well, no, it's not a man cold. It's like a regular cold, right? It's like the kind of cold that a woman gets when she still has to do like laundry, grocery shopping, take yeah, care the of the kids. The weak kind, yeah. All the kinds, okay. all yeah. the things. The easy no, one. I just am like really congested. It'll be fine, right? Yeah, it has it's to like be. like I need to breathe or anything. I breathe through your mouth anyway. <laughs> <laughs> not if you get a side ache, you have to go in through the nose, out through the is mouth. Is that a real thing? It is a real thing. Okay. It's actually really challenging to do. Mentally and emotionally, how are you feeling as you prepare this race? I'm actually excited. Last year, I was freaking the freak out. I was so nervous. Go on, we love you! <laughs> kind of said that we would touch on this later, so I'll just quickly say it, oh, but okay. I was actually supposed to run my very first ever half marathon in 2019, and I got hurt jump roping. Yes, it's a talent. I don't think this is ever gonna not be funny. <laughs> I wanna ride that scooter. <laughs> Me too. That's when that was. I pulled a tendon in my ankle, and I could barely walk. It was really embarrassing. <laughs> Embarrassing. Mom's just boot scooting and boogieing in here. Embarrassing. I didn't ever end up running that race. We kind of hoped you'd just give it up after that. Me too. Nope, came back. Last year I ran my first ever half and I was so scared. Like I literally was almost throwing up in the parking lot because I was so scared. It's just like the fear of the unknown. Yeah, I never you've never the done course. it. Of course, I was running with a friend I didn't run a ton with. Never done that many miles before. Never run that far ever. When they asked me to do it again this year, Albion is sponsoring the event. When they asked me to do it again this year, I was like, oh yeah, it's Mindy, fine. Albion sponsoring the event. It's the Rebel Race presented by Albion. They're sponsoring you too. I don't know if you've yeah. mentioned that. Pretty rad. Liz, the 
owner of Albion, who's also just a phenomenal human being, reaches out to Mindy last couple years, last year and this year, hey, we'd love to have you be in the race and sponsor you. It's pretty rad. Yeah, it's been really awesome. No They've pressure. Been amazing to work with. <laughs> They've been awesome. So I'm actually really grateful to Albion though for asking me because I don't think you if wouldn't. I had been asked, I don't think I would have pushed myself. You'd be like, no, I did it. It was cool and it was fun. Now you're like, okay, yeah, I can do it again. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll do it again. <laughs> okay, I'll stay in shape the rest of my life. <laughs> Anyways, it's really exciting, really fun. I went and saw the girls at Albion, the little pop-up they had there today at the expo. Got all my stuff for race day. I'm That's your drop you bag, right? This is the bag that you will ditch the stuff that you can't take on the race with, but then this giant corral of bags, they fetch for you. And then I guess if you forget it or lose it, then they can track you down yeah. based on the bag. Kind of nice, but this when you get is... the original one like this, it comes with some goodies, some swag. Yeah, it does. So first of all, here's my race bib. You guys want to track my number? By the time this comes out, I'll be done. So. Oh yeah. Okay. So never mind. You can't. But yeah, we'll show you her exact. 1492 route. And I like that. This is Mindy's best. Yes. Last year it said my best. You erased your last name and any connection to me you have. Mindy's Ooh, best. I love you it. See this? Right? Redeem for ice cream. It has a creamy oh, at the bottom. Oh my gosh. And 1492 is when Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Yeah, also. I knew that. A couple years before I was born. Anyway, to have my bib. Part of your race. <laughs> In case you spill while you're eating. Okay, go ahead. Part of the sign up, the fee, everything. You get a shirt with it every time. And last year I got a shirt. It's so tight. I'm never going to wear it. So this year size I got up. a large. Okay, that's a hack. Size Only up. to get it and find out it was too big. They have a little oh spot gosh. where you can oh, exchange them. That so. is a really cute shirt though. It's got like a leaf on it. Love a the colors. Leaf, apparently. Sure, I went long sleeve because I would love to wear this as I'm doing other runs. Very, very cool. I was able to exchange it. So I got this really I love cool the Albion shirt. on the sleeve too. Very yeah, cool. the Albion's so cool, huh? I love that. Right after you go pick up your packet, they have like a little merchandise booth. Merchandise. 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 Go and get your merchandise. Yes. Come and get your merchandise. Nice. I bought a sweatshirt last year that I really love. All four of us girls that went today, we ended up buying this sweatshirt. Love it. And the reason I love it is because it says Big Cottonwood, whereas my one last year just says Run Rebel. It says beautifully fast on it. That's the thing about the course I'm running tomorrow. It is one of the fastest races. And you say a lot of people use it to qualify for like, for Boston. yeah, because it is downhill through a canyon, so you can kind of get a better time. The rest of it is just like some gloves. Gloves. Which I'm gonna need. Like a glove. Get loved. A blanket. Uh, and made. sorry, for anyone like me, you don't understand how that folded up piece of tin foil is a blanket, but you will see tomorrow morning. Maybe mom can get a fun shot for us. You know, I didn't believe Hundreds, either. if not thousands of people, all just sitting under tin foil, and waiting for the works. race to start. It says it reflects 90% of body heat. They actually keep you warm. Is it actually reflecting my body heat? Like, can you feel I it? Can feel 90% it of it? Yeah. So, by the way, have you given the rundown for tomorrow morning? Speaking of early morning, middle of the night stuff. No, we'll get there. Okay. I also got a beanie. Teeny weeny beanie. They just give you tons of like little samples. Kodiak oatmeal, clean simply. Clean simple, getting in on the mix. Yes. Protein mix. Ooh, I'm gonna need this. It's a dude wipe. <laughs> Actually, that was for me. Thank you. This is all the stuff they gave me. Very cool. Love it. So it was fun going there today with your girlfriends, the ones you're gonna ride with, race with, go up there with. I understand you guys are getting together at the I can say ripe old age, <laughs> ripe old time. What phrase. are you trying to say? I'm getting up early. The butt crack of dawn. Before the butt crack of dawn. <laughs> you're gonna be racing before the butt crack of dawn. We are meeting to head up to the buses at four o'clock, and then we'll get on the buses at about 4:30. And that's a.m. Them, correct? Yes, the race starts at 6.30, so you just stand at the top of the canyon, freezing, and that's where this little guy comes and in. And you guys, it is the top of the canyon, so it's already colder. It's late September, so it's getting colder. It's, it's the middle of the chilly. night, so it's colder. So it is a lot chillier than you expect. Then you come down, everyone's in shorts and tank tops, sweating from a run, and the I sun's know. come out. You kind of go through a few extremes there. Extreme endurance, extreme tiredness from getting started in the middle of the night, extreme euphoria from completing such a lofty goal. It's gonna be really awesome. I feel like in my head, this is easier I think tomorrow I'm gonna probably eat a giant slice of humble pie when I start running. Mm, sounds um, delicious. Hopefully that gives me the energy I need to get through. All right, are you gonna head out somewhere? What do you got going on? Yeah, so tonight I'm actually doing a camp out. Hold up, bro. You know that your mom's doing like a half marathon race. We're gonna go cheer on the finish line. No, that doesn't matter. Morning. <laughs> I'm kidding. Tomorrow morning I'm gonna probably have to wake up at like six o'clock. So from mom's the getting out. up at like three something, meeting her friends at four at the gym, heading to the race. We're taking off from the house at seven, so it's earlier than a school morning. So this is like a school night. You're going up in the mountains, yeah. camping. Wow, dude. I'll be interested to see. Are you gonna set an alarm? How are you gonna get back here? Gonna use my AirPods and probably have to set an alarm. I'm not sure where I'm gonna be sleeping tonight. 
outside because there's this one spot that I want to put hammocks up at, but I kind of want to come back to my car and set up a mattress in the back and sleep there. See what happens. All right, uh, so you ready for everything you need? Yeah, I got everything. I've got Carhartt hoodie thick because it's gonna be pants, cold now, dude. Layer. In the mountains, real I've cold. Got it all. I've got a good pillow. Sleeping I've got bag. A monkey, sleeping bag. Hammock. Two mattresses. I think we got some snacks. Sour Patch Kids. The essentials. We will probably not wait for you, but we are expecting you to be here in time yes. to leave in the morning. So guys, yeah. come back tomorrow. Find out. A little suspense for you here. A little to be continued moment. Is Rye Guy going to make it tomorrow? Hit the like button if you think he will set an alarm in the middle of the mountains after going yeah. to bed at probably 2 or 3 in the morning. Get up at 6 to return home. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, and then come back tomorrow to find out if he makes it. That'd be kind yeah. of interesting to see. Come back, watch mom finish, and hopefully Rye Guy's there to cheer her That'd on. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited. Are you leaving right now? Like right now, right now? Yeah, then I'm oh, going to okay. I got to go pick up Kuro and I want to go say hi to my friends. Okay. All right, dude. Love you. See you later. Love you, Stad. Be safe, have fun, and I'll see you early in the morning. Yeah, I like it. Love you, bro. Love you, bro. Stay tuned to find out if Rye Guy actually makes it to come cheer out mom on at the finish line. In fact, that can be motivation for you as you're getting to the finish line. Just think to yourself, is Riley going to be there? Is he not going to be there? We're <laughs> interested to see. He doesn't need to be there. So mom was saying, even if he didn't come, he could totally just stay the night. But he's like, no, I want to be there, but I also still want to go do this. So if I can do both, I'll try and do it. So it's but crazy. Not a lot of pressure. If he doesn't make it, it's okay because the pressure is all on mom tomorrow. Wow, thanks. Uh, <laughs> thanks for making me so great. <laughs> to represent the family and Albion well at the Revel. Yeah. Uh, no, you need to get into bed at least somewhat soon. I don't know how you're going to fall asleep, but you're going to wake up in a few hours, like I'm in the sure middle. Of the night. I'm really tired. So. Okay, good. So we I will keep it quiet. Could. I think our plan is that we're gonna go downstairs so that we don't make any noise. And then to be honest, I don't really want to sleep in the bed because I don't want you waking me up at three in the morning when you leave the house. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna come to bed at midnight, so that'll be like only three hours. Yeah, I'll probably wake up at 3:15. It sounds good. And then we will see you at the finish line. I can't believe it. This is like the moment right here. We're saying goodbye, good night, and we will see you at the finish line. Yeah, You're gonna, gonna do so awesome. good. We're so excited for you. You put in the work, you put in the preparation, you've done your best. Now it's time to show them Mindy's best. My best Let's is do enough. this. Let's oh, it's enough. It. You guys, I love you. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, everybody. Come back to see if I finish. Look at mom. <laughs> you see this little scooter racer. Look at this, you guys. Look at you travel it's boxes. Happening. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's go. First one's off. Scooter style, baby. Mom's just scoot, scooting and boogieing in here. Casey is almost done. Go and get your merchandise. Go and get your merchandise.